Hello students of class 5. Uh, today we are going to start a new chapter, uh, Our Heritage. Uh, this chapter is also included in your first unit examination. Now, first of all, uh, what is heritage? Okay, heritage is the tradition, the qualities, the history, okay, um, which a country has for many years uh, and uh, which forms an important part. Not only that, uh, it includes our custom, tradition, uh, language, uh, festival, dance, music, everything, food, everything. And, you know, everything has been passed from one generation to another. So, heritage in short is um, all the qualities which um, a country, the, the history, the tradition, the, uh, you know, um, the qualities, uh, important qualities uh, that a country has had for many years and forms an important part of it. And uh, also uh, such things like... Uh, uh, the uh, you know the culture the f uh, food habits the um, different festivals which have which have been passed on uh, from one generation to other all these have been passed on from one generation to the other Okay, so this is what is heritage. Now, there are two types of heritage. One is the natural heritage and another is the cultural heritage. Now, natural, as the word suggests, okay, natural means um, all the, um, you know, everything in our environment, uh, which includes the physical features, um, you know, that is the hills, the mountains, the rivers, the oceans, lakes, um, also the wildlife, um, the forests, everything forms part of our natural heritage. And what is cultural heritage? All these, okay, um, the paintings, the monuments, then uh, the food, uh, the dance, different languages, um, music, then uh, the different festivals, the sports, all these form part of our cultural heritage. Okay, now uh, let us read what is there in your book. There are many things that once belonged to people of earlier generations and now have been passed down to us. These include our customs, traditions, festivals, uh, building, uh, building art forms such as dance and music and painting and costumes and handicrafts, food, pottery, coins, etc. All these are part of our rich culture and have come down uh, to us from people who lived before us. This is known as our heritage. So, all these, <clears throat> as I have already mentioned, the culture, the uh, history, the culture, the tradition, the different qualities, okay, of a country, uh, you know, which a country has had for many years and forms an important part of it. And uh, all those things which have been passed on from one generation to the other is known as heritage. Uh, now, heritage is the history, tradition and qualities that a country or society has had for many years and that are considered an important part of its character. Yes, like for our country India, India is a diverse country. Why is it called diverse? Because uh, each state has its own language. Um, each state has means um, uh, you can group some states uh, according to their food habits. Like people uh, in South 
of India has a different kind of food habit than that of North. East has a, a different kind of food habit and West. So then uh, people of different states, they have their uh, own culture, means own dance form. Uh, it can be the you know, classical or the folk dance. Um, the traditions also differ. The handicrafts. All these things differ. So everything together make up our rich culture. And this is part of our heritage. Uh, India is a land of diversity. Each state in India has its own distinct food, costumes. Costumes is uh, clothing. Okay. Dance, languages, music and handicraft. People all over India celebrate different festivals and follow different religion and customs. Yes, our country is a secular country. Why? Because people, uh, you know, belong to different religion and there is uh, no bar in following any religion. Okay, uh, any person belonging to any faith can follow their own religion. All these form part of our rich heritage and have been passed down from one generation to the next. As I have told you, uh, it's as I have been telling you all this while. Kinds of heritage. Heritage is of two types. As I said, natural heritage and cultural heritage. Natural heritage. The natural environment which includes Forests, wildlife, mountains, hills, rivers, lakes, seas, deserts, valleys, minerals, and other natural. Uh, I think I didn't mention the natural, um, uh, the minerals. Okay, the natural resources that we have, and other natural features of our country forms our natural heritage. They are very important part of our heritage and are useful to us in many ways. Yes, of course. Without these trees, without, uh, you know, the forest, the wildlife, and without the resources, okay, uh, which we use to, you know, uh, produce so many goods, nothing could have been done, right? Uh, the need to be protected so that the future generations, they need to be, sorry, they need to be protected so that the future generations are able to enjoy their benefits. Yes, we must preserve them. We must preserve our natural heritage very carefully so that, you know, our future uh, generations can also, uh, you know, get the benefit of it. Cultural heritage. Under cultural heritage, you have everything. Okay. Uh, the monuments, coins, pillars, inscriptions, artifacts, places of worship, dance, music, painting, literature, uh, language, food and oral traditions in India. The customs and traditions that we follow also form part of our rich cultural heritage. So, we find that the natural environment and then Whatever is the, all the man-made things belong to the cultural heritage, okay? Um, means uh, not only the man-made things, you know, um, which is part of our architecture or handicrafts in that way, our food, our clothing, dance, music, I means the different kinds of art forms, everything form means uh, part of our cultural heritage, monuments. Monuments are historical buildings such as palaces, forts, tombs and palaces, uh, sorry, places of worship built by past rulers of India. These monuments throw light on the kind of life people led in earlier times. The remains of the Harappan civilization, the Buddhist stupa or Sanchi and Sarnath, the Ashokan pillar, the Brihadeshwara temple at Tanjavur, the Red Fort at Delhi, Taj Mahal at Agra, Charminar at Hyderabad, Gateway of India at Mumbai, 
the forts and palaces of Rajasthan are part of our architectural heritage. So suppose if you're asked to uh, mention um, one example of architectural heritage, so you can mention any of these monuments. And these monuments are important for your objective type answers. Okay, so uh, please, you know, remember them i think um, as part of your general knowledge uh, you know most of them uh, but uh, try to remember means try to remember them because for objective answers uh, for objective questions you might be asked from means not might be you will be asked from here so monuments are what they are historical buildings okay and um, not only they are historical buildings through these buildings okay the, we can uh, form an idea of the kind of life uh, people led during those times okay so uh, these buildings are very important to us and they form a um, very um, important part because they form part of our heritage and it is very important that we take good care of them okay and the examples are given you know uh, like uh, the gateway of India at Mumbai then Charminar at Hyderabad, Brihadeshwar Temple in Tanjavur, um, Red Fort you um, see you know the flags uh, are hoisted on the national festivals uh, from the Red Fort. Uh, so all these are very important monuments. So uh, let us just re recapitulate what we did uh, today. Okay, I won't proceed any further with the chapter. I will do the uh, rest of it in the next class. Okay, so uh, what is heritage? Heritage is um, our history, uh, traditions, culture, and the qualities that a country or society has had for many years and it forms an important part of its character. And, um, you know, this culture, I mean, this, um, all these things, okay, um, our, this, our uh, traditions, uh, language, culture, everything, they have been passed down from one generation to the other. Okay. Everything uh, forms a part of a rich culture which have been passed down from one generation to the other. So that is what is called heritage. Now heritage are of two types, natural heritage and cultural heritage. Natural heritage means our natural environment and everything included in this natural environment you know the forest the wildlife the hills mountains seas uh, rivers then uh, lakes and also um, we should not forget our natural uh, you know resources okay um, which help us you know in many ways so this forms our natural uh, heritage and cultural heritage is everything okay our monuments, um, then inscription, pillars, uh, then uh, dance, music, um, paintings, languages, food, clothing, Sports, etc. So, and we have read about the monuments, the important monuments of our country. Uh, thank you, students. We stop here today. We will do the rest of the chapter the next day. Thank you.